This is probably the last one for the tea break. India need a wicket. Can they get a wicket with their last ball before tea? England have had a great session. Lead by 184. Sharma got anything. That should be two at least. Not great angle running here. I think it more than likely will end up in the boundary. He doesn't even know where it is. I don't think it has hit the boundary, but he doesn't know where it is. The ball isn't dead. I'm not too sure what's happening here. What, what took place? Now, this is very interesting. Both, both batsmen were out of the, their ground. The ball came back. They took the bales off. Well, this is interesting. If it's not four, this could be interesting. The ball has not touched the boundary as far as we can see. Assad is calling the batsmen back. They need to determine exactly what has taken place here. This is very interesting. Well, I don't think the ball was dead, was it? I think the batsman just assumed it was for four, but I'm not sure the ball hit the rope. The batsman just walked off and didn't get in the crease, so the ball was still alive. And Bell and that just walked off. So, and Indian players have taken the bails off and appealed. So if this is not four, it could be out. This is very interesting. What will the umpires decide? It's obvious that the two English batsmen thought the ball was dead. They thought it was four runs. They are walking off again. They were told to stop, but they are continued walking. This is interesting. The television umpire is going to be getting involved here. They have asked for a replay. I just wonder if they've taken the bails off and asked for a replay to see who's out. To see if they've crossed at the time the bales actually come off. Now here's Bell walking past Morgan. There he is. Morgan's still in his crease. So I think Bell could be out here. I think Bell could be out. They've definitely appealed. They've definitely taken the bales off. The England players are pretty nonchalant about it, saying, What's all the fuss about? But I think he could be in trouble here, Bell. Wow. Well, the television replay umpire needs to see this again. He's asking to see it again because they have determined already that the ball was not dead. Who is out? The bales are off. I think Bell is closest to that end. If they're going to make a decision here that the ball wasn't dead and someone is out, I think it's Bell. It's an unfortunate situation, but a careless move by the two English batsmen. Well, let's see. That's it. He's out. And I would think it's Ian Bell that's out because he was the man closest to that end. And this is not going to be a happy situation here. That's carelessness, but it's not a happy situation. I don't think it's really in the spirit of the game, to be fair. It's definitely not in the spirit of the game, and it's a pretty ordinary moment, to be honest. But if you go by the letter of the law, the ball was still alive and they just walked out of their crease but in the spirit of the game that's not on well not the first time we're on this ground we are seeing that sort of reaction from the team or the person in the home dressing room well well and here it is again Owen Morgan plays it down towards the backward square. They run two, they run three comfortably. Very comfortably. They assume that is four. That's all I can say. Ian Bell wanders out of his crease and the ball comes back and the bales are removed. Yeah, when you look at back full like that, India, it's just out. It never went back to his crease. The ball was still alive. Wow. You don't see that very often. Andrew Strauss is definitely not happy.
uh, we're going to tea with all sorts of turmoil, Mikey. But well, that's the match summary at the moment. England are 187 runs ahead. Four wickets down. Who knows what will happen, happen with Jonathan Trott. Well, tea is uh, nearly done and dusted. It's nearly time to start again with the final session of the day. This is the talking point, of course. Right on the cusp of tea, the final ball of the session. Uh, England see this ball go to the boundary, so they think. Everyone relaxes, Ian Bell turns, that goes down, turns, and they think that's it. They've got four, they think Morgan has four, they think it's time to call over, they think it's time for tea, but the ball is still alive. And that's what the umpires looked at, that's what the umpires decided. So England are now four down for 254, Bell out for a magnificent 137. So one session to go, time to start again. Here are David Lloyd and Mike Latherton. Well, well, well. England lead by 187. No sign yet of umpires or players. It might just kick off in this final session. So if you sat at home with the telly on, don't leave us. Get a cup of tea and settle in for the final session because it could be spicy. For what it's worth, I agreed with Nasser saying David Gower and Sanjay Mandraka at T. I think uh, the ball was live. Tony was perfectly within his rights to uphold the appeal. But uh, the players, or the Indian players at least, left to booze. You saw Andrew Strauss come out onto the balcony, as did one or two other England players, with a, a look of utter disdain down towards the Indians. So they're, they're clearly not happy. Ian Bell wasn't happy. And there's still no sign of uh, any umpires. Don't know whether the umpires may have gone to the Indian dressing room and said, are you sure you want to uphold this appeal? I don't know, I'm just guessing, but... I think India are within their rights to do that. The ball was still live. Here they come. Asad Rauf and Maria Rasmus, who handle that situation to the letter of the law, and they'll get booze here, which is unfortunate. Because a lot of people around the ground will be in the dark, I think. They won't know what has happened. And they're taking it out on two umpires here who performed their duties diligently and to the letter of the law. And done exactly the right thing, in my opinion. I've got a former umpire next to me. Bumble, maybe you'll have a different opinion, I don't know. I just thought it was sharp practice. We hesitate as to what happens next. I've never seen that in a game of cricket. I've been around a long time. Uh, the umpires... Uh, custodians of the laws of the game it's in the laws of the game you've got the option to go to the captain do you want to uphold the appeal the captain I think has said yes um, I'll give you something else I don't think that Ian Bell was attempting a fourth run he touched down for his third run and he was under a misapprehension uh, that the ball had gone for four the ball was still live it's messy happened to me actually in Bridgetown a test match where Desmond Haynes hit a ball Phil Tufnell gave chase, he stopped it trying to go for four. Desmond Haynes thought it had gone for four, was wandering out to the middle of the pitch to have a chat with his mate, can't remember who it was. The throw came in and we appealed. And by the letter of the law, Desmond Haynes should have been given out, but he wasn't. It's a ball, you just tell me a little bit more what happened there with Desmond Haynes. Umpires just said dead ball, they were wrong to do so, but there are more boos here. Enormous boos for MS Dhoni as he leads his team out. Which again is unfortunate, I think, because I'm not sure that people around the ground would have been aware. Sarcastic applause, you'd say, from England. I don't think that was uh, applause with a great deal of feeling. Well, as you said, he's got Messi. Not seen that sort of thing. On a cricket field, and with the letter of the law, he's out, and a resounding cheer for England as they come back out again. You know, ah, well, maybe the applause from England was genuine, because what has clearly happened here, unbeknownst to us, is that uh, MS Dhoni has withdrawn his appeal, clearly. We're, we're not aware of this, we're just talking off the cuff. Nobody has told us what has happened, but we can only assume that the umpires went to the Indian dressing room, asked MS Dhoni to withdraw his appeal. And that's what he's done. So Ian Bell is coming out, so all the boos have been replaced by cheers. 
my own view is I think we've got the right decision. The, the umpires are, are not the villains here. And I just said it's messy. I think the lad there on screen is to be congratulated. He's done what I would consider to be the right thing. It's clumsy from Bell. He's had a little time to reflect and said he withdraws the appeal. And that's within his right to do so. It is within his right to do so. I can think of a few captains and maybe I'd have been one who wouldn't have done so. I think Ian Bell's a lucky lad. He's been a bit dozy. He paid for it with his wicket initially. And now MS Doney has withdrawn his appeal. So let's put it all to one side. There's huge applause now. MS Doney has gone from villain to hero in about five seconds. The Indian team have all gone from villains to heroes. Two and two makes five. We saw <laughs> England applauding on the balcony. We thought it was sarcastic, but yeah, it was very genuine. Go. It was. Genuine appeal from England, and we can all crack on now. Ian Bell resumes, 137 not out. Owen Morgan is 21. And England are 254 for three, leading by 187.